Woohoo! Did you guys see that? We're in for an awesome night tonight. Hey guys, if you're a first time viewer, uh, you might want to skip this episode or watch it, but uh, the technical details might be off a little bit. A lot of my ang camera angles are the same, so it's kind of boring in that sense. But it's very exciting because there's lots of lightning that we can look at. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If this is your first time watching again, please bear with me. And uh, if not, I hope you're a subscriber. So here's a situation right now. I'm at home in Charlottetown. I've been tracking uh, some lightning all day today when I was at the office. I was doing a bit of extra work. It's a great day to go into the office Sundays and uh, basically get some work done. You don't have to worry about uh, any emails or phone calls coming in typically, so it's a very productive day usually. And uh, I've been watching for lightning all day. Anyway, this is uh, a map right now of the Maritimes. And down here, or of Nova Scotia, there's a couple different cells that are coming up. Um, that are coming up from uh, Nova Scotia. This goes back to 2 o'clock. If we bump it up here, usually this doesn't work, so I shouldn't do that. But basically, what's happening is the storm has been coming up this way, and I'm hoping it crosses over. So it's been kind of going this way here, between Halifax and New Glasgow. It started up this way, I believe it was. So between this area and here, keeps going straight up it's going to hit eastern Prince Edward Island so that's what I'm hoping so I think I'm going to head down there and uh, see what I can find and hopefully capture something that's the goal for today so uh, let's see what we can get So I'm in Beach Point here, Prince Edward Island, and uh, basically what's happening is out here, um, out the window, which you guys can't see, we have uh, some lightning going on. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I'm set up inside. The lightning's happening just over the ocean. I'm basically sitting right on the beach, pretty much, and I got my Young Nuo uh, remote trigger, and I have my camera sitting outside. So uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to capture some images of the lightning flashes. My camera settings are pretty simple. Um, right now I'm set to uh, a 30 second long exposure, F10, and my ISO is around 120. So after spending a few minutes down here in Beach Point, I uh, decided, you know what, it's time to uh, chase the storm and head north. But as I was heading north, I quickly discovered, thanks to a phone call from a friend, that. Uh, there's a pretty good lightning storm happening in Charlottetown. So uh, I decided, you know what, time to change my route and uh, head back to Charlottetown and chase this storm north. My exposure out here is uh, very similar to what it was before down east. Uh, it's uh, quite simple. I'm uh, shooting a long exposure. In this case, in case I'm shooting for maybe uh, six to eight seconds. My aperture is f6 um, and my ISO is 200. I'm not sure. Oh, the car's shutting off. Okay. Sure. Um, anyway. Okay, I'm not really sure what that was, but all right. Um, so yeah, that's what my shutter speed is. That's what I'm going for. I'm basically going for a nice shot here of the lighthouse, hopefully getting some lightning in the background, which might not work exactly the way I want it because the storm is not heading completely that way. It is heading that way, um, but you never know 
I might get lucky here. Yeah, so here I am, I'm out uh, Cove Head, and uh, basically the situation's this. I got a beautiful lighthouse. I'm at uh, f f6, and I'm shooting at uh, six second intervals uh, at ISO 200. And basically the situation's this. I'm very limited as to what I can shoot because there's construction going on here, and the, a lot of the angles are blocked off. So that doesn't exactly help. But uh, I am set up here in a certain way, so I get the lighthouse and none of the construction gear. So it's turning out pretty good. All I need is now is a bolt of lightning in there, and I'll be good to go. But uh, sadly, the storm is moving, uh, basically in the direction the car is a little bit, and uh, all right, maybe not completely, but so that's not helping. Anyway, the key in, key ingredient in stuff like this is to stay safe. You do not want to be outside during a lightning storm. There was a gentleman earlier that walked outside to ask if I was all right, um, which was very generous of him, very Canadian of him. Yes, I'm all right, taking pictures. But uh, key is, when you're shooting uh, any type of uh, bad weather like this, is to stay safe. So if you're one of my regular viewers, you know that this episode was a little bit off. A lot of the camera angles were the same. I was pretty limited as to what I could use, what I could shoot. After all, it wasn't a car. Not my typical SUV where I can uh, do a lot more. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. And uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll have another episode coming out next week.